When it comes to portable monitors, it's always nice to use them with your phones and laptops. But have you considered watching yourself when you film for videography? Now there's a concept. For most of you, you might say, who the hell is this guy? But for some of you, you might say, who the hell is this guy? And why am I finding him now? Algorithms. For those of you that feel that way, my name is Brandon Nodee, and I love to do tech reviews, camera gear, and even blogs. So if any of that sparks your interest, I encourage you, no, actually, I dare you, hit my subscribe button, hit the bell, Hit all and allow me to give you the honest reviews that you deserve. So today's review is going to be a little different of earbuds and headphones like I do mostly. You have to realize that I filmed these things, these reviews for you. So therefore, I have to talk about the camera gear that I use to film those. So it kind of coincides. Earphones, earbuds camera gear. And that is exactly what we're going to talk about today. That's right. Normally you would see looking up a review of the new Leap Pop. You know what? Do you see a, a little resemblance? Eh, this is for later. Now, normally I would tell you that Li Pao has reached out to me, but that is not the case this time around. I actually reached out to them because I wanted this type of monitor to do this type of work. And that's why this type of review is going to be just that. We're not going to talk about how you can game with this. We're not going to talk about how it's great with your laptop. We're not going to talk about how awesome it is to plug your phone into it because you can do all three of those and more. But what I am going to show you is a cool way to use this monitor for a videographer. So let's get right to it. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. Also, the same company that provides Leapow, they provide, I believe, my Phil series. And they also sent me, now I don't know why they sent me this because I never did end up doing a review on it, but this is their Rock Space wireless router and from the looks of it on other reviews it looks amazing this is an 80 dollars value and if you can see that real close it's still got the plastic on it guys so guess what i have not even opened this this is brand spanking new and they asked me well since you're not going to do a review on it could you at least give it away in one of your videos why not this video so for some of you you may have thought i don't need to watch this review maybe you do all right, let's dive into the box and go over all the stuff that you're going to get with this little gem. All right, let's go ahead and cover what comes in the box. You're going to be greeted with the Li Pao user guide. And let me tell you, it's a very nice instruction manual, very intuitive. 
Uh, all the pictures are in color and it tells you how to connect it and all the things you're gonna need. Gosh, it's funny. When I look up here, I'm missing my monitor. I actually had to take it down because I'm gonna be showing you guys on the upper, yeah. Anyway, irrelevant. I missed the monitor already and you guys are gonna see why. They also give you a facts and question brochure and they also throw in this monitor accessory introduction. So there's a few things on here that, uh, you know, they suggest that you might want to buy with your new purchase. And also they throw in a three year, that's right guys, three year and six month warranty on the product. Now I'm telling you right now, that is huge. Most places want to sell you an extended warranty. This company is giving you a three year warranty. Koodles. As far as cables go, you're gonna get your USB type C and the charging brick that comes with that, which is very nice to be able to power your unit up with USB type C, fantastic. So happy it wasn't micro USB. Speaking of which, you also get the USB C to USB C cable and a full size HDMI to micro HDMI. And lastly, we'll talk about the wet wipes, the stickers, and this wonderful cleaning cloth. Really? And then the screen protector. So yes, they do give you a screen protector, but why bother? And you also get a magnetic case. Let me show you up here. It's uh, very nice, actually. You got a couple different ways to put it on and set it up right. I'm super happy that this type of style comes where you can take it off. It's not glued to the back. It's magnetic, so that makes it great. So you don't have to use this if you don't want to. All right, the center of attention, the monitor that I'm missing right now, up there is right here. And let me tell you, this thing is sweet. Number one thing I really love about it is the matte finish, okay? So you're not getting a glare, you're getting a matte finish on here, which really helps when you have it mounted up over your camera, you're not catching any glare from light or anything like that. I mean, this thing is built to last. All aluminum chassis, very small bezel and extremely light, really, really light. And that's why it fits so well with the combo that I got, which is the Delkin devices. Uh, I'll definitely drop you guys a link down below. I actually picked it up at a camera shop, so I'm not sure if you can pick that particular one up on Amazon, but I will definitely find you something of equal or greater down, down below. Although this does come with uh, stereo speakers on each end, you get one right here and one right here. You won't be using the speakers if you use this how I'm using it because you get tremendous feedback from your microphones or electronics that you may have around it. I totally turn this thing off. Otherwise you get a ear piercing pitch you won't like. On the left side of the monitor, you're going to get your HDMI input and your fast charge and your three and a half millimeter jack. That's right, you can definitely plug in a pair of headphones if you wish, or an external speaker if you don't like the speakers that this comes with. On the right side of the monitor, you get your power button, your toggling switch, plus and minus. I'll show you how that is used in just a second. And then your fast charge. All right, let's nerd out for just a quick second. I know there's a few of you or many of you that want to know specs, and we will cover those. I have a list. All right. For all you tech heads, this is a 1920 by 1080p. Now, however, most cameras today have 4K. It's not gonna show you in 4K, but believe me, you don't need it to show you in 4K. This is not a field monitor. This is just a monitor to be able to see yourself if you're in focus, if uh, there's something crazy in the background, or it's just a bigger screen that is gonna help you out on these talking head videos that you may make. It's an IPS panel, which is fantastic because you won't get, like you say, the glare or off to the side if you have to put the monitor here or there, or maybe you want to put it on your desk. Maybe you don't want it just above your camera. You can stick this anywhere you want. Anyway, you can put it wherever you'd like, and then that way there won't be any glare and you'll be able to see it from the side because it's an IPS panel. Nits. 
All right, let's talk nits. What are nits? It's the brightness on this. Now, it's not extremely high, and that's another thing you'll find on field monitors is the higher the nits, the better the brightness, the better you'll be able to see outside. So you're not gonna wanna use this monitor for outside use. It's just not meant for that. It's meant for in the studio, in-house, okay? However, it is 320 nits, and that is plenty for what we're doing here. And lastly, it is a 60 hertz, which is fantastic for what we're using. It's really meant for like laptops and gaming and things like that. It's going to keep up without latencies. All right, let's go ahead and show you the features on what you can do as far as colors go and settings. Now the full HDMI, which I love on the A7S III, on my camera is plugged in, and this is the mini HDMI. And once we plug this in, this is where the magic is gonna happen. Voila, this is pretty cool. Looking at this monitor, I know I have to look at this camera, but I am gonna look down here a couple times too so you can see it, or I can look up here and see myself. Now, as far as settings go on this, you're going to come over to the right side and you have the toggle switch, which I can show you right here. You're gonna click on the toggle switch, push it once, and now you're gonna bring up your color schemes. I'm not gonna go into too much depth with this um, because it would make the video longer than it needs to be. Once you find what you're looking for, you push in the button and it will highlight brightness. You can come down contrast, black level, and sharpness. Finding the one you want, you click the toggle in again, and now there's brightness. And we can click that all the way up. And now you will clearly see it going to complete brightness. So there we are. Now we have it nice and bright. Should look really good. It's a perfect size screen. It's not too big and it's not too small. It's just right. Nursery rhyme? Three little pigs. Yeah. Anyway, so yes, this is what I use all the time. I absolutely love it. The colors are outstanding. The power button becomes your back button if you wanna get out of the screen that you're in and then you can scroll through. Don't be afraid to get in here and start messing with the settings because you can't screw up anything. You can always default back to the factory settings if you make a mistake. 1080p is gonna be more than enough for you guys to be able to just see yourselves and make sure you're in focus, make sure the background is the way you want it. Uh, oh yeah, and by the way, I see that my light's not on in the corner, see? So I would know that right away if it was up there. Whoops. Now, normally I would go through pros and cons with you guys, but I'm not going with pros and cons today. I wanted this monitor. I knew this monitor was gonna work for me perfectly, but I will tell you one thing to bear in mind. For some reason, every time you turn your camera off, this whatever settings you set, now volume it will work. It keeps the settings on volume. You see where it says brightness and I've set at 95, okay? Now, once you turn your camera off, which we'll go ahead and do now, you just keep an eye on the top. Okay, boom, so that turns it off. Now the monitor's off, right? Now watch what happens when I click the camera back on. This is something I have not figured out. This is something I would love to figure out, but now you can see it's very dull. You go back into your settings, and the very first thing is it set everything back. It kept sharpness, it kept contrast, but it doesn't keep brightness, and I don't know why. So you go ahead and click on that. So basically every time I turn this monitor on, I have to go through these motions of turning brightness all the way up. So that is my only complaint that I have with this monitor. I wish it would save the settings. However, it does not. Well guys, that is gonna do it for the review today. I hope you enjoyed this little segment that I put together because I think these work fantastic. You don't always have to spend the high dollar for a field monitor when you can use these. Now, however, you may drop me a couple comments below saying, hey, I use my TV. And yes, you can definitely use a TV, but you have to remember TVs are bigger, bulkier, and heavier. This is completely light. Another thing I'd like to mention before we go is the back of this, you will notice, is completely blank. There is no screws to attach a monitor mount to it, but it is so light, you could stick something to it if you wish. But like I said, the bracket that I bought for this works perfectly. So you might wanna check that out as well. 
however you want to use it, or you can even use the stand that it comes with, set it over on your desk, however, whatever you wish to do. Uh, you guys thought I forgot, didn't you? I don't forget anything that I'm giving away, believe me, I keep track of that. However, I will not be able to cover overseas or out of the country shipping and handling, but I will take care of anybody that's in the US like I am. It costs way too much if you wanna cover the shipping, but please don't let that discourage you of entering the drawing. You deserve to win just as anyone else does. All right, here's how it's gonna roll. I have another contest going on right now, and I will gladly post that for you right up here. And that is to win yourself a free pair of earbuds, $129.99 value. So be sure to check that video out and get yourself registered as well. What I'm going to do is give both the items away after my birthday, which is on February 24th. So I'll probably do the review a weekend following that. But we'll be giving the router away and the earbuds on the same video. So here's the easiest way to get yourself entered. Number one, you have to be a subscriber. Number two, you have to like and share the video. Number three, follow me on Instagram. And number four, leave me a comment down below and why you think you deserve a router. Or just leave me a comment. Either way, but don't forget to add a hashtag fortune cookie at the end of your comment. And that way you will be registered to win this router. Now for any of those that are interested in picking yourself up one of these gems, the Li Pao Z1 Gamut Portable Monitor. However, I am not sponsored or endorsed through the company. They send out, I do the review, bada boom, bada bing. It's that simple. Now, I will definitely drop you guys an affiliate link down in the description below and where you can pick up one of these to make your life a lot easier and faster. And that's what we all want, easier and faster. All right, it has come to the end of the video, so you know what that means. Got my old trusty Spyderco Para 3. Let's, we do that again. Let's just do that again. Oh, I love that. Now is a good time to try something new. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Am I supposed to give up my channel? not on your life. Guys, don't forget to share and like my video as it helps the channel grow. And you guys know, I'll be seeing you in my next video.